What's up crew? Yeah, John here from JDM Expo with another inventory video and this one is a pretty interesting R33 and you guys have seen plenty of interesting R32s and 33s if you have been with us for a little while. If you haven't, check them out. We've got some really crazy ones. Um, for a lot of you new guys, I'd probably recommend the Stealth Black one. Uh, that was pretty cool. Uh, about two years ago and some recent updates this year. Probably about a year and a half. Yeah, something like that. Uh, but we've also had a couple of others. Uh, another one which I've got a video in the works, but today I've got this one here. Very nice. Um, it's a lot of interesting parts on here because this is an R33, yes. Uh, it's a V-Spec, yes. And, well, um, it's got a lot of R33, or R34 and 35 parts. So I'm in R34 seats. I've got R35 brakes, which are doing a really good job here. Uh, see, look at that. Uh, it has a tiny bit more noise because it's got, you know, R35 brakes, uh, better pads and everything compared to the regular R33 ones. And um, yeah, while the R34 seats are comfortable, I, I kind of like the 33s over the 34, but um, it still holds really well. As you can tell, uh, it's it's definitely upgraded. Uh, I got the windows down because uh, it's nice and warm today, actually. So it gets a little warm in here really quickly, even with the fan on. I'm not trying to use the AC because I want every bit of power that I can get so I can show it to you guys. All 580 plus horses. Really, really something else. And uh, we do have the Nismo gauges here. And uh, these are the 320 gauges, so they upgraded them uh, from the standard ones. Yeah, typically, uh, like, when I show you the gauge cluster, it'll make more sense. Uh, this one's got about 10,000 kilometers on the clock, but overall it's around 60,000 kilometers. Um, they changed this to earlier in the year with a number of other upgrades. Uh, the engine... Well, if you guys could hear that tone, we're, we're going to give it another try again later so you guys can really uh, take it in. You know, really beautiful sound, really nice performance. Uh, the transmission has been really smooth overall, uh, even with the upgraded clutch. I'm not sure about the flywheel. I'll go double check the parts list in a little bit. But what I can tell you right now, though, is this engine is really built up. Uh, with a lot of uh, internals. Uh, we've got uh, HKS and Tomei parts all around, uh, a bunch of trust parts, uh, really good stuff. Yeah, a lot of the tuning stuff is actually HKS, including the little computer here. And yeah, with the trust cams, so we've got that Gretti trust cams, really cool. Uh, adjustable HKS cams. We've got SARD delivering the fuel, so if you guys are familiar with SARD, really good systems. Uh, 850cc injectors, so we've got plenty of fuel delivery, and um, yeah, you can probably hear how smooth that tone is. Really good tune on this. I'm pretty surprised. And, uh, you know, not gonna lie, we've had plenty of cars in the four to 600 horsepower range. For a lot of you guys that have ordered our, uh, oh, there goes my empty Pepsi that I just drank. <laughs> Don't worry, it didn't spill, because it's empty. Ah. It just flipped out of the non-existent cup holder here. Yeah, uh, downside for um, a lot of the uh, mid-90s ones, S14s, you guys know I had one in the past also where you kind of have a little spot for it, but it's not as good as like the USDM cup holders. But um, hey, it is what it is, right? You uh, <laughs> better finish your drink quick so uh, you can get back to driving. Ah, but yes, this uh, with the engine stuff, I'll get into that in a little bit because you guys really have to see it to believe it. Really a lot of good stuff. We've got plenty of silicon in there. They got everything sealed up properly and tuned. Uh, interior wise though, like I said, I'm sitting in R34 seats and uh, they did have some of the trim upgraded here. We do have a Bluetooth and MP5 audio deck here. So it's got radio, a bunch of other stuff there. Uh, it's kind of like a basic Android system on there. Um, I'm not sure about the speakers, what they've been upgraded to. I'll double check the list, but I don't remember seeing anything about it. I think they're Pioneer, because the tweeters are at least. 
And uh, we do have a couple of other gritty gauges here. We do have the standard uh, Nismo gauges here, the little triple gauge uh, for boost, oil, and uh, was that water, I think? Oh, no, it's for front torque, I apologize. And over here, I've got oil pressure and uh, the another boost gauge, which is a little bit more accurate. But yeah, dash is looking real good, no sag in the headliner, and um, not just the front seats, but the rear seats are also R34. And uh, yeah, just in general, the trim on this is just really nice. So I'll be showing that to you guys in a little bit at the warehouse. have left the windows down but I'm hoping that you guys could hear that it was going pretty good really really got the power there oh uh, I did see a good puff of smoke behind me because uh, you know it definitely starts to dump in tons of fuel and you could just hear that ripping uh, it did backfire a little bit but I'm not sure if the microphone picked it up Whew, definitely really sweet not enough to get the adrenaline going I guess uh, that's a uh, when you get used to things a little too much, but I love that sound. Definitely, kind of wish it was like uh, ITVs, but mm, it definitely ripped. Uh, it was actually more gentlemanly than I was expecting uh, earlier from uh, just testing it and driving it around. So this really good tune on here. Um, it doesn't snap like I was expecting more on the high end, which is actually really good. Um, but uh, definitely very smooth power delivery considering it's close to 600 horsepower. Really fun. So uh, let's get to the walk around. I'll show you guys around so you can see uh, a little bit more about what this is all about. You're definitely gonna like this midnight purple. As you can see from that LED lighting, you're able to see a little bit better even though that carpeting is pretty f uh, plush, you know, that uh, Nismo, Nismo uh, floor mats there. And uh, we've got that dash right here just to show you guys uh, trying to get that camera to fit around there pretty good yeah in good shape there you can see the R34 seat right next to me and we do have a titanium shift knob here see very uh, shiny there and it's not wanting to focus because of that shine <laughs> here we go and here's that audio deck right there And here's that uh, Nismo triple gauge that uh, is pretty much OEM. And here's the non-OEM 320 full scale gauge. And you can see that uh, a little over 10,000 on the clock there, so it's actually around 60,000. In fact, I actually have the oil change sticker from May when they changed it, so they got 10W40 in there. Yeah, it was around 59,000, so uh, late last year it was changed. And as you can see, we got these gritty gauges here. Whoops. Uh. It's a little bit hard to see because of how bright it is around me. But uh, yeah, it's a lot easier to see in the eyes, but there's a lot of glare for you guys with the. Uh, and because. Uh, the car's off, it's freaking out about low oil pressure, but of course it's not running right now. And uh, just to show you, uh, also we do have the R34 pedal set. So that was uh, kind of interesting that uh, besides the floor mats the, and the uh, gauge, we also have this uh, which is actually from the V-Spec 2. And of course, here's the driver's side seat. So these are all genuine R34 parts. And we got interior LED lighting, you can see there, quite bright. And uh, here in the back, you can see the uh, plush Nismo carpeting again. Definitely like that texture. It's actually really nice. And of course we have the uh, R34 rear seats. 
And so you can see with uh, they definitely matched up everything really well with the interior. So it looks as if it was supposed to be here originally, which is awesome. A little bit more on the side here. Alrighty, so we'll get to the exterior here, which I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys will be pleased to see this beautiful midnight purple. And just so you know, uh, the exhaust is a HKS Super Turbo muffler. And uh, of the Sard catalytic converter. And we do have the uh, LED tail lamps, which I'll just show you here in a second. And this carbon fiber spoiler. So you can see a beautiful carbon fiber pattern. Alrighty, so I'm definitely wanting to show you guys the quality of this paint. And it's definitely in really great shape. The uh, midnight purple. And for those of you guys that are a fan of it, it definitely looks a lot deeper than uh, the camera's picking up. Because uh, whenever you look at it with your eyes, definitely the uh, depth of the clear coat and uh, just the different reflections, it looks really cool. And there's a lot of stuff to get into, so I'm going to get into the engine bay here in a second. Alrighty, and uh, well, while I show you guys around, I'm also going to read off the list here. And first off, though, let's get you some numbers there so you guys can look up some additional information on there at your favorite registry. And also for reference, uh, whenever you're inquiring. And right off the bat, you guys are probably going to notice uh, all this plumbing here. Uh, so we do have HKS intakes with Greddy plumbing for the uh, intercooler. And it is a uh, trust, so it's a Greddy three layer intercooler. So plenty of uh, cooling capacity for that air charge going in. And you can see the intake plenum there. It's also powder coated, looks really stunning. And you can see that Sard fuel rail. It's freaking high volume there. We got 850cc injectors on all six cylinders. We got all the support hardware there as well, including a RH9 fuel pump. And of course the Sard fuel regulator is adjustable. And we got the fuel line there as you can see with the fuel rail. It's all high quality lines. And of course you already saw with the uh, HKS, uh, we got the airflow meter pipe and uh, the intakes and everything there. And we also have a Sard catalytic converter, so I believe that's pretty high flow as well. And we have the HKS front pipes, so a lot going in with the turbos there, which is a Trust 517Z or Z, 517Z. So pretty nice there, uh, eight centimeter twin turbine. And we got the uh, Trust upgraded actuator, so a lot of really good stuff here. And you might be wondering what's going on under here. And I did mention about the adjustable cam gears and the trust cams. We also have a trust timing belt, split fire direct ignition coils. We've got HKS racing spark plugs, garage Ito oil catch tank. And so uh, we do have you know, Apex and this uh, garage Ito capture those oil vapors. Additional gritty hardware for uh, your different gauges and everything so really crazy And for your cooling uh, we also have the Nismo sports cooler kit an aluminum three layer radiator and that was that GT tank from apex right there, so a Lot of cooling going on here. We got to even the little carbon fiber little uh, Radiator shroud there trying to redirect that air to go where it needs to go for cooling And 
And yes, this is to the beautiful tune of about 580 horsepower. And uh, of course, uh, whenever we get that power down to the ground, we do have the ATS uh, twin plate clutch. And we also have that spirit suspension to get that down to the ground. Really good. Well, I guess you can't really see it under there. We'll uh, cut in some footage there of the good old suspension kit. So we do have a coilover system all around and we do have R35 brakes with Brembo front calipers and they got all around R35 brake rotors. You can see slightly smaller Brembo calipers on the back. Just look at that. Also wanted to mention about how good these wheels look with this kit. Really flush, actually handles really well. There you have it. Another stunning R33 from uh, JDM Expo. And if you're interested in this or any other vehicle's crew, you know who to contact. Just hit up our sales team info at jdm-expo.com. And uh, also Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all those DMs will go to them. So they'll be able to get back to you within about 24 hours. And uh, one other thing about this, for those of you guys worried about having high horsepower, uh, obviously it's a bit to control, gotta be responsible. Uh, it wasn't really rough um, like a lot of other modified clutches. So uh, for those of you guys worried about that, you know, there you go. Um, it's actually very drivable, very streetable. I mean, considering close to 600 horsepower, you could probably tune it a bit more because it's definitely got the support hardware. But uh, overall, a really fun experience. Not as wild as some of our other ones. I mean, that stealth black one, you guys saw that. That was nuts. Definitely a good time. But if you're looking for something a little bit more tame, very comfortable. The interior on this is really good. And, uh, no roll cage or anything like that. We've got R34 seats in there. It's really well done. Uh, that's for sure. I mean, sometimes we get some that are just pretty plain. Uh, this with the newer interior is pretty cool. Uh, we've also had some R32s before with different interiors. Uh, definitely with this, keeping it Nissan is really great. So um, yeah, well, there you guys have it. Um, hope you like that. And if you're looking for something else though, maybe not so powerful or maybe not as crazy, uh, definitely check out our other videos or inquire. Uh, definitely Nakata's got your back there if you're looking for some good deals. Uh, I've actually seen a couple of EG civics i'm hoping to get some more in pretty soon those are a lot of fun but uh, uh all in all guys keep the jdm dreams alive i'll see you in the next one all right take care